very serious about my notes right now, <laughs> okay? Today we are going to be demonstrating how to do Cornell notes. You will watch as we go through the 10 steps of the Cornell way. You will take your cards to figure out which step we were doing at that time. You will receive cues and clues when you need to stop to identify a step. Before I start my notes, I must do proper heading. I will write my name, date, period, the class, and my essential question. I'm going to take my notes on the right hand side of my paper. Good morning, AVID students. Uh, my name is Liz Miller, and I have been at Mark Twain for a long time, and I started here as an eighth grade teacher, but prior to that for AVID. Prior to that, there was one class of seventh and eighth grade mixed back in like 2000, I believe, and that's all there was to it. I became a mentor for the AVID program in 2003. Eventually, I became the teacher and the coordinator. Our program grew. Ms. Soto wound up being our seventh grade AVID teacher, and I was the eighth grade AVID teacher. Since then, we've had a couple other seventh grade AVID teachers, and I have remained the eighth grade AVID teacher the whole time. Um, we have four sections of AVID here, and that's what we've had for years now, two seven and two eight. After I take my notes, I have to review and revise them with a buddy. Okay, so when I was taking notes, I didn't get what year was the first AVID class? I got, I put two, the year 2000. Okay, thank you. So I put, Oh, and that was the first class. Yeah, it was a mix of seventh and eighth graders. Correct. And I said Miss Miller was first a mentor, and then she eventually became a teacher. Then what was that last thing she was? Um, a mentor in 2003. Did oh, you okay, have that? I didn't have 2003. Now I note my key ideas with a highlighter. So the first added class was in 2000, and they said that it grew to be four sections now of AVID from the one class. And Miss Miller has been here for the whole time. Um, in I, some way. I highlighted the same, the same things actually. After I finish <laughs> taking my notes and reviewing them, I am going to synthesize my ideas by writing a summary. After I write my summary, I am going to review my notes and write questions for each chunk. I'm going to use my questions as a learning tool to study. I have to grade these notes from Mr. Nosos and Ms. Drager. Let's see, check, 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 check. Nice, they even use their question mark, awesome. These are good, pretty thorough. They were listening. Um, the one thing they could have done is uh, taken their highlighter and then highlight who has been the most impactful person for AVID. So maybe impactful person, huh, must have been me. And how has AVID grown over the years? Oh, it's grown. Now there's four sections, so you know where your answers are. Who is the eighth grade AVID teacher? Hmm, Miss Miller, me again. And when did AVID begin? Hmm. In 2000, which she already had, but she just needed to highlight on that side. And then if you really get into your summaries, you come down and highlight these. But I think these summaries look amazing.
right, when my teacher or my tutor gives me back my Cornell notes, I'm going to address their feedback. Looks like, like I should have highlighted key terms in my questions and I should have connected it back to my notes. Always make sure to reflect on your learning. We are professionals. <laughs> what? Really?